I don't really care. Hey everyone, today uh, we're doing AEW Blood and Guts. That's that's what it's called, Blood and Guts. Uh, there was a lot of blood. I didn't see really see any guts. Uh, opening bout, I'm surprised it wasn't Arge Cassidy. Uh, we had Jungle Boy, but he had a vignette where he was burying his Jungle Boy character. So now he just goes by Wanana Jack Perry. That's that's his name now. Wanana Jack Perry. No, it's just Jack Perry. Anyway, um, now he's up. Now he's coming out to some Beethoven sounding shit. I don't even know some sort of bullshit. Um, <clears throat> Hook comes out with the F FTW belt. He looks looking like an anime character. There's two rings. Um, so I don't know. Can they go into any ring? They're they're just going into that first ring. But there's two rings for that old blood and guts thing. Um, uh, oh, and it's Shark Week. <laughs> so uh, a lot of people wearing shark heads or something. Uh, and then <coughs> I think Shark Boy was backstage, but I didn't see him in the episode. Probably saving him for um, Rampage or something. Uh, Hook no sells a German suplex. Hook is getting Germans on Jack Perry. Jack grabs the ref with a distraction and low blows Hook. Gets an elbow on him, but gets a two count. Bumps into the ref. Hook gets some sort of suplex. But I think Hook had actually dropped Jack on his head. It looked pretty bad. Uh, Jack Perry grabs the FTW belt, smacks Hook with it. And the ref wakes up and he wins the match. And now he's the new FTW champion. Uh, and he's heel. Go figure, right? That's... That's what he's doing. You know, at the beginning, they were doing that, that, oh, 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 that music. And you could tell people wanted to sing along with it, because I guess it's just a song they like singing along to, but they didn't want to sing along with it, because they didn't like Jungle Boy anymore. And that's why they buried his character or whatever, figuratively and uh, literally. Anyway... Next, you have an MJF and Adam Cole vignette. They're uh, eating spicy Chinese food, and then they think they're drinking water, but it's just 100% alcohol. And then they double clothesline the Chinese waiter. Uh, and I thought, I really thought Asian hate was done with, but I guess, you know, it's still going on, unfortunately. <sighs> I try that in a small town. <laughs> uh, Dr. Britt Baker no wait no there's some vignettes with Don Callis and Chris Jericho but they're just stupid some fat dude keeps trying to interview them Dr. Britt Baker uh, comes out with a lot of pyro I guess she hasn't been doing any matches she looks good though she looks the same like she she doesn't look good or bad she just she looks the same I mean, and it's good um, she's facing a jobber, Kayla Sparks, gets the lockjaw, quick tap out victory, and I'm like, where's Rebel? Rebel was fucking hot. Like, I miss Rebel. Where's Jamie Hayter? Because, uh, you know, are they, like, not having her there because of Tony Storm or what? Because Jamie Hayter's fucking hot, too. But Rebel's fucking hot for just, you know, standing there not doing shit. Like, not, not, she's just hot. Rebel's hot. Anyways, I don't know if she could beat Sky Blue in an ass match, maybe. Um, Ren Renee Paquette interviews MJF and Adam Cole. Uh, they got each other matching trunks and jackets. And when they're leaving, uh, Roderick Strong with a neck brace comes out looking jealous. Like, he he's like, man, um, come back, Adam. I miss you. You're my friend or something, you know? Um... Okay, MJF made like, MJF made a weird insult about Sammy Guevara's chick needing Plan B. <laughs> I was, I, you hear the crowd go ooh, like that was that was kind of fucked up, but that was funny. Um, let's see, and then Daniel Garcia when he's coming to the ring, he does like a weird gyrating dance with his pelvis, 
and uh, Sammy Guevara, they come out to the ring. For some reason, Chris Jericho comes out. He gets pri- uh, pyro. He gets a lot of pyro. And he tells him to cut his music because he doesn't want people singing along to Judas or something. Which I, 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 I'm, I'm not a big fan of that song, Judas, from him. I like Lady Gaga's Judas more. Uh, I like uh, Enemy. You're my enemy. All that we had has gone away. There are times as uh, you're my enemy. Wow. I like that song more. Um, MGF comes out. The crowd loves him. And then uh, Adam Cole comes out. And now their music is remixed together. And MJF's just like super ecstatic. They're like hugging about it. The crowd loves it. MJF loves it. Uh, I skipped a page here when I wrote my notes. Uh, Yeah, the fans are like super really loving MJ and Adam Cole together. Uh, MJF and Daniel Garcia start out the match. And they're just doing dueling crotch dance-offs. Like seriously, if you watch it. They're, they're little, uh, MJF's literally like, dance off, dance off, and they haven't rang the bell. MJF goes and turns on the music, and it looks like, like, uh, Sammy Guevara and Danny Garcia are doing like a Rikishi Too Cool type dance routine. And then MJF does like pretty cool moves with his crotch and all that. And then, uh, Adam Cole tries to dance, and he just looks like, the dumbest piece of shit like I guess that was just the thing like oh you're gonna look like you can't dance and then I hate it because he just still looks really unhealthy he's so skinny like so skinny like he just looks like malnourished you know it's it's worrying me uh let's see uh Danny and Sammy cheap shot uh during the dance off they start the match MJ's teasing a dive to the outside, but he just runs the ropes over and over and over and over, and the crowd loves it. Uh, Adam Cole looks sick. I wrote that here because he does. Adam Cole convinces uh, him to dive out of the ring, MJF, and the crowd is like ridiculously pumped up. They call for the double clothesline, get it on Danny Garcia, and they win. Jericho goes to support Danny and Sammy, but they just walk right past him and they show like him disrespect or whatever. Uh, Adam Cole, like his eyes linger on the belt for a bit and MJF gets real mad. Like, oh, you want my championship? You want my championship? But uh, they get over it really quick because the crowd's like, hug it out, hug it out. So they hug it out and then um, FTR comes out, their music. And they kind of just talk shit to each other, stare at each other, and they're going to have a match for the tag team belts two weeks from uh, two weeks from today, or no, at Collision. Two, two weeks at not this Collision, but the next Collision, right? Because that's the only place FTR works is on Collision. Uh, now next is the Blood and Guts match. Oh, there was no... Oh yeah, Beer Baker was on, but she, that was a, a jobber match. Uh, really quick, uh, we see Chris Statlander and Orange Cassidy and the best friends. And they talk about Orange Cassidy versus, I think they said AR Fox. I wasn't really listening. Because uh, Darby Allen and his like friend were there. That one that is it like Nick Gage. I don't know what his name was. They just signed him and he just lost last week to fucking Swerve Strickland. But, uh, so, what is it, uh, Orange Cassidy's gonna challenge that AR Fox to whatever his belt is, and I think Chris Statlander looks great, like, she's got a great look, a great physique, uh, and she wrestles great, like, she, she's a good TBS champion, Jade Cargill was pretty good too, but Chris Statlander I think deserves it too. Uh, Tony Storm's pretty good. Like I said, Sky Blue just got a nice ass. But I would like Jamie Hayter somewhere in the mix, too. Britt Baker, I like her, but she's like old news, you know. To me, anyways. 
Um, the Blood and Guts main event. Ru the rules are freaking weird. I'm not even going to try and get these rules, but they start off with Claudio Castagnoli uh, versus Kenny Omega. A lot of pyro for Kenny Omega. The, the crowd keeps chanting, use this ring, use this ring for them to use the other ring. And I'm like, why are there two rings? I don't know. Whatever. That's just the gimmick of the match, right? And then they have a cage because it's shark week. A shark cage. The Bastard Pot comes out next. After three minutes, Hangman Adam Page is next. Uh, after another three minutes, John Moxley comes out. And he has a fork. And he's stabbing Hangman. He's stabbing Omega. He's like stabbing his ear and shit. And I'm like, he must have saw the Abdullah the Butcher dark side of the ring on Tuesday. Because, like, why the fuck did he just bring out a fork, you know? Uh, Moxley gets a bucket out from under the ring. And there's just straight up broken glass in it. <laughs> like a bucket with broken glass. Um, Nick Jackson comes out. He's one of the young bucks. From uh, It's hard to tell when they're not together. And the glasses on Nick Jackson's body. Kenny Omega's back. Wheeler Yuta comes out next. Uh, now Matt Jackson is out now, which is the other, um, you know, brother, or whatever they are, the other young buck. Um, and for some reason, like, I was, like, noticing that Moxley was the only one bleeding. Like, he was stabbing Hangman and fucking Omega with the fork but he's the only one bleeding in the ring like I don't think anyone else is bleeding and if they are it's probably just because they have Moxie's blood on their faces or something you know um do, 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 do. last guy for the BBC is uh Takesha Takeshita Takeshita it looks like Takeshita but it's Takeshita uh, anyway, Don Callis comes out to join commentary because I guess he's cool with Takeshita. And then Moxley brings out, uh, like, from under the ring, a literal bed of nails. Like, fucking, like the one Shang Tsung does his fatality on. Like, a bed of fucking nails. Like, who the fuck built this thing? Uh, Kenny, Kenny Omega gets thrown into it and then body slammed on it. And then uh, Koto Abushi comes and takes come out, comes out as the last dude for the Golden Elite. Takes out Wheeler Yuta. Uh, Abushi kicks Moxley into the bed of nails, and then like uh, moon salts onto him. And this match is ridiculous, dude. Like, uh, like there's a commercial, and then when I get back after the commercial, Wheeler Yuta and one of the Young Bucks is on the top of the cage. And then they're reading a promo for Red American Red Cross to give more blood <laughs> while this match has fucking Moxley bleeding all over everywhere. So it's, I don't know, it's, it's, God, it's ridiculous. Um, one of the Young Bucks has a bag of tacks on top of the cage and he rains them down into the ring and Pac and Claudio get thrown onto them. And then now the crowd is chanting tables, tables, we want tables. Uh, and they bring out the tables and then now they're shouting, we want fire, we want fire. It's like, what the fuck, these, this audience just wants someone to die, you know? Um, they do put someone on a table and Pac does a stomp on one of the young bucks through a table. That looks pretty good. Uh, and then we get to a point where all the BBC people have submissions submissions on all the Golden Elite. But that Habushi starts kicking everyone and breaking them all up. Uh, Claudio accidentally hits Pac, so they fight for a bit. And then uh, Pac is like, fuck y'all. He cuts the lock with a uh, pair of fucking lock cutters. What do you call it? Right? The, the shit that cuts locks. Uh and leaves and then Don Callis tells uh, Takesha to to leave too he's like fuck that just leave before you get hurt and then Wheeler Yuta gets buckshot lariated and then V-triggered at the same time from the back and the front just like he likes it and um uh, he gets hit or they have a sh the Young Bucks have a shoe with tacks all over it and they rub his face in it 
and then they get a chain and they choke the shit out of him with a chain and he gives up and the golden elite win and then they play carry on my way was son there be peace when you are done lay your weary head to rest don't you cry no more anyways that was um blood and guts it wasn't i don't know it wasn't it wasn't good <laughs> we'll see what happens on rampage friday but uh yeah thank y'all for watching uh let me know leave me a like subscribe comment all that stuff uh share it whatever uh but yeah thanks for watching the video take care bye